Okay, this is sample problem 1.9. This is a problem where we're going to take a look at a conversion. We're going to convert in this particular problem a volume which is in the units of liters and convert it to volume in cubic meters. Okay. Now, for this particular problem, let's remind ourselves what volume is. Volume is the amount of space that something occupies. So think of a measuring cup, which has a cup or half a cup or a third of a cup. That's a volume, it's the amount of space. And so we're doing volume measurements here. So the average adult has 5.2 liters of blood. What is the volume of blood in cubic meters? So what we're told is that the volume is 5.2 liters and we want to figure out what the volume is in cubic meters, which I'm going to write as meters to the third power, okay? Liters to cubic meters. Now, here's one way to do this. Let's go back. If you read through the section, it will tell you that one liter is one decimeter cubed. Now, one of the things about the way the metric system works in terms of prefixes is that really when we say it's one decimeter cubed, really what we mean is one decimeter to the third power. That's really the meaning of that of a liter. And if you write it that way, it might you might see this transformation a little easier. So let's go through it. We want to go from liters or decimeters cubed to meters cubed, all right? So here's how I'm going to do it. I'm going to say, look, what is a decimeter? Well, a decimeter, D for deci, is 0.1. So one decimeter is 0.1 meters. Okay, a decimeter is 0.1 meters. How do I know that? There's these prefixes, right? You've seen those prefixes before. Centi, 0.01. Deci, 0.1. Kilo, 1,000. Mega, 10 to the 6, so forth and so on. So deci is 0.1. So now I have a conversion factor here. And if you recall in the reading, what we're doing with these conversion factors is we turn them into ratios. So we're starting with liters. So really what we have is 5.2 decimeters cubed. I'll use the parentheses there. 5.2 decimeters cubed. Why? Because a liter is the same thing as a decimeter cubed. So now what are we trying to do? We're trying to convert this to meters cubed. So let's come back to this little conversion factor here. The textbook tells you there's two ways we could write this. We could write it either as one decimeter over 0.1 meters, or we could write it as 0.1 meters over one decimeter. Either way is fine. The issue is which one do we want to use for this conversion? We're trying to go from decimeters cubed to meters cubed. We're trying to get rid of the decimeter cubed. So if we look up here and we see decimeter cubed and we want to get rid of it, what do we have to do? We have to divide by decimeter cubed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick this one right here. I'm going to multiply this by 0.1 meter. And I'm going to divide that by one decimeter. That's a conversion from meters to decimeter. But remember, we want to do cubed. We don't want to do decimeter. We want to do decimeter cubed. So I'm going to cube this. And look what happens. Decimeter cubed divided by decimeter cubed. Remember, the units do the same thing with the exponent that the numbers do. you got to cube the point 0.1, but you also cube the meter, and you cube the decimeter. So let me just write this out, just so you can kind of see what's going on here. We have 5.2 decimeter cubed, 
And then if we cube the point 1, point 1 times point 1 times point 1 is point zero zero 1. So there's the number, I cube that. And then meter times meter times meter, that's meter cubed. And then divided by decimeter, 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 decimeter cubed. Okay. So look what happens. Decimeter cubed divided by decimeter cubed. We now have 5.2 times 0 0.001, which is 0 0.0052. And now we just have meter cubed. The only unit left over is meter cubed. Okay, there's our answer. In this particular problem, 5.2 liters. What's 5.2 liters? Well, think of a 2-liter bottle. You're familiar with that, right? You buy a 2-liter bottle of Coke or Pepsi, 5.2 liters is about 2.5 of those. So imagine 2.5 of those 2-liter bottles. Why such a small number? Why 0 .0052 in meters cubed? Because meters big. A meter is like a yard, so it's a yard by a yard by a yard. Well, a meter by a meter by a meter. So 0 0.0052 is just saying, look, it's much smaller than one meter cube. One meter cube would be very large. That would be the size of, uh, I don't know, uh, one meter by one meter by one meter is pretty good size. Um, that would be the size of a large chair, I guess. And this is smaller than that, 0 0.0052. Now, I will make a note that often your textbook will convert stuff into scientific notation. So how do we do that? Well, here's the decimal point. To move it to decimal to scientific notation, we want a number that's a number between 1 and 10 times 10 to the x, where x is a whole number, 0, 1, 2, 3, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, so forth and so on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the decimal point three places. Because if I move it three places, now I have a number that's 5.2. Okay, that's between 1 and 10, right? Now, here's the general way of thinking about this. If you move it to the right, if you move the decimal point to the right, it becomes negative. We moved it three places, so I'm going to put negative 3. If we moved it to the left, it becomes positive. It would be plus 3. So you just... Make the exponent the number of places you move the decimal point until you get a number between 1 and 10. And then if you're moving it to the right, make it negative. And then the units are not un they're unchanged based on that. So that would be 5.2 times 10 to the minus 3 meters cubed. So let's interpret the answer. 5.2, that's a number, a decimal number, times 10 to the minus 3, which means small number. And then the units are meters cubed. And there you go. There's sample problem 1.9. Of course, as always, try the practice problems that come after it, A and B. Checkpoints as well.